The occlusal surface is reduced to a depth of one millimeter using a parallel sided medium grit round ended burr. The natural outline of the cusp slopes must be followed to maintain resistance form. Occlusal reduction is then checked using a putty matrix to ensure adequate reduction. The functional cusp bevel is carried out to a depth of 1.5 mm on the buckle cusp slope. Following occlusal reduction, the surface is refined using a fine grit burr. Interproximal reduction is carried out using a fine point medium grit burr. The handpiece is supported with the free hand at all times and a smooth continuous action is used to avoid damaging the adjacent tooth. This is then repeated for the distal surface. The interproximal margin is then prepared to a 0.5 to 1 mm chamfer using a parallel sided medium grit round end burr. A smooth action is employed and the handpiece is supported with the free hand at all times. The buckle surface and margin is prepared to a depth of 0.5 to 1 mm. A chamfer margin is achieved using a parallel sided round ended medium grit burr and a smooth action with the handpiece supported by the free hand at all times ensures that the margin is prepared as smoothly as possible. The lingual surface is prepared to a depth of 0.5 to 1 mm and a chamfer margin employed using the parallel sided medium grit round end burr. Again a smooth action is used and the burr handpiece is supported at all times.